Ever wondered how the tiny world of nanotechnology could wage a war against HIV? Imagine, if you will, a future where we could use minuscule medical marvels to target and tackle this relentless virus. What if I told you that future might not be as far off as you think? Intrigued? You should be. We're about to embark on a fascinating journey that intersects the worlds of nanomedicine and cyanet. Stay tuned as we delve into this fascinating journey of nanomedicine and Cerna. What if I told you our body has a secret weapon called Cerna that can silence the expression of certain genes? Now that might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually a key part of how our bodies function. Let's dive into the fascinating world of Cerna, or short interfering RNA. These are small double-stranded RNA molecules that play a crucial role in RNA interference, a process where the expression of specific genes is inhibited. In simpler terms, Cerna can tell our cells to stop producing certain proteins. Imagine our bodies as a bustling city, and each cell is a factory. The factories produce all sorts of goods, or in our case, proteins. Now sometimes a factory might start making a product that's harmful to the city. That's where our Cyane comes in. You can think of it as a city official who steps in and tells the factory, hey, we need to stop production of this product, it's causing problems. The potential applications of Cerna in medicine are vast. It's like having a very specific on and off switch for the production of proteins in our cells. This can be harnessed to treat a wide range of diseases, from cancer to viral infections like HIV. By introducing Cerna that targets the genes of these diseases, we can effectively tell our cells to stop producing the harmful proteins that the diseases need to survive and spread. But of course, it's not as simple as it sounds. Introducing Cerna into our bodies and getting it to the right place without being broken down is a huge challenge. That's where nanomedicine comes in, but we'll get into that in the next scene. For now, let's marvel at the complexity and ingenuity of our bodies. The existence of Cerna is just one example of the many ways our bodies work to keep us healthy and functioning. It's a powerful tool in our biological toolkit, and understanding it could unlock new possibilities in medicine. So, Cerna is like our body's secret messenger, telling the cells what to do and what not to do. Now, let's talk about nanomedicine. Imagine a tiny delivery truck carrying special messages to specific destinations inside our body. These special messages could be a variety of things, drugs, genes, or even tiny machines designed to perform specific tasks. The delivery truck? That's the nanomedicine. Nanomedicine, essentially, is the application of nanotechnology in healthcare. It refers to highly specific medical intervention at the molecular scale for curing disease or repairing damaged tissues. Think of it as the ultimate precision tool in medicine. You might wonder, how does this tiny delivery system work? Well, nanomedicines are designed to interact with our bodies at the same scale as viruses and proteins. We're talking about billionths of a meter here. They can be engineered to recognize specific cells or viruses, like a GPS-guided delivery truck. Once they reach their destination, they deliver their payload, whether it's a drug, a piece of genetic material, or a nanomachine. Now, this isn't some far-off science fiction concept. Nanomedicines are already being used in a variety of applications, from delivering chemotherapy drugs directly to cancer cells, to repairing damaged tissue, to targeted gene therapy. They have the potential to revolutionize healthcare, making treatments more effective and reducing side effects. One of the most exciting aspects of nanomedicine is its potential for personalized medicine. Because nanomedicines can be engineered to interact with specific cells or viruses, they could potentially be tailored to an individual's unique genetic makeup. This could make treatments more effective and reduce side effects. But like any new technology, nanomedicine also has its challenges. There are questions about how to best design these tiny delivery systems, how to ensure they're safe, and how to scale up production. But researchers around the world are working hard to answer these questions and bring the promise of nanomedicine to fruition. Nanomedicine, therefore, is like a microscopic delivery system, ensuring these special messages get to the right place at the right time. Now, imagine what could happen if we combine the power of CRNA and nanomedicine. A fascinating thought, isn't it? But this is not just a hypothetical scenario. It's a real, exciting intersection of science that's happening right now. 
Let's dive into it. Cerner, as we've discussed, is a molecule with the power to silence certain genes. It works like a molecular scalpel, cutting out specific genetic information to prevent the production of harmful proteins. But Cerner on its own is like a scalpel without a surgeon. It needs a delivery system to reach the right cells without being degraded or triggering an immune response. That's where nanomedicine comes in. Nanomedicine is the application of nanotechnology in the field of healthcare. It uses tiny engineered particles to deliver drugs directly to disease cells. Think of it as a GPS-guided missile system for medicine. The combination of Surinae with nanomedicine is like equipping our scalpel with a skilled surgeon and a precise navigation system. This combination is especially promising for diseases like HIV. HIV is a tricky virus. It hides inside the body's own cells, making it difficult for traditional drugs to reach. But with Cerner-loaded nanomedicines, we could potentially target these hidden cells directly. The Cerner can silence the HIV genes, stopping the virus from replicating, while the nanomedicine ensures the Cerner gets to the right place. Furthermore, nanomedicine can protect Cerner from degradation in the body, enhance its uptake by cells, and minimize off-target effects. This means we can maximize the therapeutic potential of Cerna while minimizing side effects. The potential of this combination is immense. It could revolutionize the way we treat not just HIV, but a whole host of other diseases as well. Diseases that have so far eluded our best efforts could be brought to heal by this potent pairing of cutting edge technologies. By combining Cerna with nanomedicine, we could potentially create a powerful weapon against diseases like HIV. This is not just the future of medicine. This is medicine happening right now, and it's a thrilling time to be part of it. So what could this mean for the future of HIV treatment? Imagine a world where HIV is no longer a life sentence, but a condition that can be managed and kept at bay. That's the potential of Cerner-loaded nanomedicine. This new approach could revolutionize HIV treatment in several compelling ways. First, let's talk about precision. Traditional HIV medications work by broadly suppressing the immune system, a strategy that's akin to using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. But Cerner-loaded nanomedicine is more like a surgical strike, targeting the HIV virus directly without affecting the rest of the immune system. This could greatly reduce the side effects associated with HIV treatment. Secondly, Cerner-loaded nanomedicine could potentially increase the effectiveness of HIV treatment. The HIV virus is notorious for its ability to mutate and become resistant to medication, but Cerna, short for small interfering RNA, works by blocking the production of specific proteins that the virus needs to replicate. By cutting off the virus at its source, we could potentially halt the progression of the disease. Thirdly, this approach could potentially improve patient adherence to treatment. Current HIV medications often require strict and complicated treatment regimens, which can be difficult to follow. But Cerner-loaded nanomedicine could be administered less frequently, making it easier for patients to stick to their treatment plans. Lastly, Cerner-loaded nanomedicine could potentially make HIV treatment more accessible. The technology used to create these nanomedicines is scalable and could be produced at a lower cost than traditional medications. This could make HIV treatment more affordable and accessible to people around the world. In conclusion, the potential impact of Cerner-loaded nanomedicine on HIV treatment is immense. From precision targeting of the virus to improved patient adherence and accessibility, this approach could truly revolutionize the way we treat HIV. Harnessing Cerner-loaded nanomedicine could potentially change the face of HIV treatment as we know it. The journey of Cerner and nanomedicine is an exciting one, filled with immense potential. We've journeyed through the world of Cerner, understanding its role in gene silencing and its potential for therapeutic use. We've also delved into the realm of nanomedicine, exploring its capacity to deliver treatments in highly targeted and effective ways. At the intersection of these two fields, we find a promising solution for HIV treatment. By loading Cerna into nanocarriers, we can potentially target the HIV virus directly, disrupting its replication process and offering a new approach to treatment. This is not just about managing symptoms, but about going to the very source of the problem. It's about fighting HIV at its core. But as with any scientific discovery, this is just the beginning. 
The potential of CERNA-loaded nanomedicine is vast and largely unexplored. We stand on the precipice of a new era in HIV treatment, and the future is bright with possibilities. We invite you to ponder on this. What are your thoughts on the potential of CERNA and nanomedicine in the treatment of HIV? Are there other diseases you think could benefit from this approach? What questions do you have about the science behind it? Your thoughts and questions are invaluable. They spark conversations, fuel research, and drive the progress of science. So let's start a conversation. Let's delve deeper into this fascinating field together. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We look forward to hearing your thoughts on this fascinating subject.